So I'm going to do something slightly different with this question. So I've already kind of um, written a good amount of stuff here. And that's because I just want to talk about for reading comp, what your scratch paper should look like when you're working on it. So this question is a detail question from uh, the passage about Marcus Garvey. If you want to read the full passage, look at the unredacted question, try it out on your own first, go ahead and pause the video, click the link in the description box, come back when you're ready. So, um, so here, obviously, we're not going to be able to write on the question itself when you're taking the test. Uh, but you will have scratch paper. And what I would recommend for each reading comp question that you attempt is that you give yourself three places to do three very important steps. So the first thing you want to do is identify the question type. So here I wrote detail. So there's four reading comp question types, at least how I classify them. Main idea, detail, function, and inference. So when you understand the question type, you'll sort of understand the more and more reading comp questions you break down and analyze, what are some of the wrong answer traps associated with each, with each question type? So that'll just help you move a little bit more quickly through the answer choices. So this is a detailed question. I know this because of this, unre uh, this redacted portion according to the passage. If it's according to the passage, then we know it's a detailed question. The next thing you want to have written down on your scratch paper is a rephrase of the question stem. That's kind of what I have going on here. So you'll read the question stem. And then on your scratch paper, put in your own words, keep it in the form of a question, but just ask it in a way that is a little more straightforward, a little more, a little more simple. And that's just to ensure that you really understand what the question is asking. Sometimes people will only do this for um, question stems that they think are wordy and difficult. I recommend that as you're practicing reading comp, that you do it for every single reading comp question. It'll just, it makes you better at reading comprehension, frankly. Just having to like continually come up with rephrases, you get better and better and better at it. And it also makes you better at noticing what are the important keywords in the question stems. So I highly, highly recommend it. I always emphasize this in my videos. So here, my rephrase was, um, uh, it ended in which for which of the following reasons. So I translated that into a why. You know, why did African Americans join in World War I? And so your rephrase doesn't even have to be like a full, full words and sentences. Abbreviations are fine. But because I did that rephrase, this word join really stood out to me, joined. Um, because African Americans in World War I are talked about throughout the passage. And with detailed questions, there'll always be one or two keywords in the question stem that are going to tell you where to look in the passage. So a lot of your job for detailed questions is keyword matching. And sure enough, this word joined, when I go back to the passage, is, um, let's see, do, 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 do. they start talking about it at the end of the first paragraph where they mention African Americans joining, and then they get into the motivation in the first sentence of the second paragraph. So then the last thing that you want to have on your scratch paper for every reading comp question is your prediction. So once you go back to the passage and you have found the relevant information, you're going to read it, and then you're going to summarize it on the scratch paper. So the first sentence of the second paragraph reads like this, hoping to participate in the traditional American ethos of individual success Many African-American people entered the armed forces with enthusiasm, only to find themselves segregated from white troops and subjected to numerous indignities. Um, so why did they join? Well, obviously they weren't joining because they were hoping to suffer indignities, nobody wants that, but they were joining because they were hoping to join this American ethos of individual success. That's what they wanted to be a part of. So that answers the question why. I would call this um, my prediction. Some people call it a prephrase whatever you wanna call it, it's a summary of what the correct answer should look like. So now that's on your scratch paper. You don't have to worry about keeping it in your head. You don't have to worry about forgetting it as you read the answer choices or self-doubting. It's always right there. So you can go back and forth from the screen to your scratch paper. Um, great, so now we've got our three strategy steps done. Let's look at the answer choices. So A says they wish to escape worsening economic ec conditions. Nope, we didn't talk about economic at all. A is out. B, they expected to fulfill ideals of attainment. Okay, you know, that's sort of in the line with what we said, maybe. 
C, they sought to express loyalty to the United States. This is tricky because they did talk about American ethos, but it wasn't about loyalty, it was about individual success. So that's not quite right. D says they hoped that joining the military would help advance desegregation. No, that might be something the passage talks about later, but that's not specifically why they joined at the beginning. So that could be a possible distortion. You wanna be very careful about that. E, they saw military service as an opportunity to fulfill Marcus Garvey's vision. No, they weren't doing it for Marcus Garvey. If anything, they were doing it for themselves. So our correct answer here is B. And again, the reason why you want this prediction down is so you're not sucked into answer choices that contain factual information from the passage, but don't answer the specific question being posed. So that's it for strategy for detail questions and RC, uh, RC questions. If you have any specific questions about either this passage or RC in general, feel free to ask them in the comments below.